All right, so welcome back to the Grow Family Network. And today we're talking about getting ready for the winter and planting trees, right? So it's fall planting. Uh, I don't think it's a right or wrong way to do this. You could wait till early spring. If you're like more, like the further you go up north, the more you probably can't plant the trees like we do. But here in Louisiana, it's zone nine, we can actually plant trees in the fall and it, it'll have enough time to kind of establish itself in the ground before the winter actually comes. So out here, this is gonna be like a two-fold thing. I think we've planted over the last two weeks about 10 or 12 trees. Uh, so out here is a little different. This is something we've been talking about. We've been putting figs around the perimeter of our chicken cage. And you can see these two we actually got from Mr. Jesse. Uh, one of our subscribers. I can't remember what they are, uh, but these were just cuttings we got from him, just little sticks, and we put them in the ground this year. And so they've grown up to this size so far. We have put a lot around the perimeter, but those two were the only two that really took. Um, I planted this one last week, I believe, and I planted this one this morning. So I planted this this morning. I decided, I say, let me stop and kind of show them what we're doing. So when we do like updates, you kind of see when we did it. So this is when we've been planting this. We planted these two kumquat trees right before the flood, right before we flooded out. So I think it did a good thing that it flooded these. It got them time to kind of drench the roots and settle everything down. Uh, so what I do is I actually go around, whenever I, I'm getting ready to plant trees, I never kind of plant one tree at a time. It's always multiple trees that we're planting. So what I do is I go around and I just dig holes. So I got a hole here. And I'll show you how we actually plant our trees. And I got a hole here. So you can see it kind of done, kind of done dug down. And I'm this is, I think this is Miss C's uh, cutting that she sent us. This is actually a Kadota fig. Kadota fig. Yeah, Kadota fig. So we'll put that in. I'm going to Kadota fig. Get it up to the right height. What I'm going to do this year, when I plant this, I'm going to just leave it. I think early spring or well late late uh, late winter, I'm going to come out. That's when I'm going to trim this down, and I'll actually take this cutting and put it in some soil and try to get it to root again the same way we did that one. That's my idea with that. So let's go plant this one over here. We actually, it was the video where we said five new things we're planting for spring 2020 season. We actually got this fig. Let me drag this, this bag is fussing. Because we got this clay soil, this is something that I use. Uh, any kind of cheap topsoil. This is a compost manure type topsoil from Home Depot. I think it costs like 178. I think 168, 178. So what I'm gonna do is I got the hole just about as big as I want it. Because this is what we're putting. This one isn't that big. some of that I tried to plant this the same time I planted uh, the citrus trees it was so hard up here I couldn't even get in the ground I couldn't get anything in the ground so I was actually hoping and praying for some rain like I wanted some heavy rain to soften this ground up and then about two days later I got all the all the rain I was hoping for and but look how soft it is now. This stuff is like concrete. So what I like to do is get me some of this and just start kind of mixing it in.
And this is how I see it, so you can come in a little bit. I'm actually mixing all this thing. Make it a little bit easier on the roots, but I still want that native soil in there. There's no right or wrong way to me to plant a tree as opposed to as long as you plant it high enough and plant it. The only wrong way to plant a tree is to not plant a tree. So like I said, this is going to be twofold because not only is it going to give us the figs that we're looking for, but in the summertime, it's so hot back here and I thought to have a tree that was actually can provide shade something to provide some shade for the chickens in the winter time it's super cold so we need the sun in the winter time for them which is another reason i chose to use the fig tree here because in the winter time the fig loses its leaves so without the leaves on it It'll let the sun actually come through and warm up the birds. So that's why we do it that way. Put it a little bit higher, then we're gonna plant. So I did research. I actually did research on, I looked up, I say research, I Googled and looked at a lot of different websites on planting trees or berries around a chicken cage. And so I asked like which trees are best planted around the chicken cage. So we got like different little suggestions. What? I fed y'all. We got different little suggestions and figs were one of them. We had a lot of fig trees. All I'm doing is just waking that up a little bit. Now this does have a little bit of, cause it's manure, so it does have a little bit of qualities of uh, fertilizer, but not real, not much. Got that right there. Add back that native soil. Mix it how you like. Um, I planted trees now on this property for the last three years and I don't think not one has been the same like every time I plant I'm doing something different and I'm not losing any so I would say it's no real right or wrong way some of them I put horse manure in some of them I haven't some of them I planted with rabbit manure <laughs> Some I haven't. This year, you can see what I'm doing this year is I'm planting a little bit higher than I usually plant. So you can see, and I'm leaving the, the root ball more exposed on top of the ground. So I'm kind of planting around it. I get some water and water in there, keep watering it. And I'm bringing the soil up to this level. So I'm gonna be mixing. And I'm just trying to get up to this level here. Some steady mixing. Bring in some of that, bring in some of this. What this is gonna do, this compost and manure is just gonna help keep it a little bit looser around here until those roots get strong enough to push through that hard clay soil. Okay. All right, then I take my little shoe. I'll do the watering later. Tied and what you, what you can do, once I get that, I just add some more as a top dressing. Big roots are shallow, not as deep. They say they're kind of shallow roots, so they do real well here.
Plus, look green, look beautiful. Yeah. Black and brown. <laughs> Black, brown, green. No right or wrong way to plant these things. The only thing I don't do is I don't keep up with varieties much. That's just me. I just plant whatever I like. And I know that it's something that I like. If it's on my property and it's planted, more, most of the time it's something that I've already tasted. So I don't really know what the name of most of the stuff is. Or if I bought it. One more. Sorry. <laughs> Look at him making noise. He always like. One more. Just gotta love planting trees. Isn't easy. isn't that easy? I always tell my my neighbor. We always talk. I say, man, we wonder why we don't see more fruit trees. Like, I wonder why it's not at least one fruit tree in every household. Like, why? It doesn't matter where you are. It's some kind of fruit tree that can grow where you live. It, it almost got to be. Something has to be edible to grow in that area to support life. So even if you're like way up north and you can't uh, you can't grow citrus trees or banana trees, banana plants or whatever, but I'm sure you can grow like apples, those kind of things that we can't grow as well down here. A little bit higher. Got my audience out here. He mad because his little ladies is all about me. That's why. Get from over there by him. Y'all supposed to be for me. Maybe that's what he's saying. I don't know. A little bit higher. The, the height, another reason for the height here is because of the land is so low to where this will kind of help when it floods and the water does come up here, uh, the, the roots are a little bit higher out of the ground. A little bit more. Ah. Add some more of that. Like I say, you don't have to even buy that stuff. I've used from everything, like I say, all the manures to nothing at all. I've actually just planted in the straight ground too so just one of those things if you got something i would say use it if you don't i wouldn't worry about it so let's get this one out the water i guess she was growing all out the pot this was just on our little, oh, oh, she got, uh, she came out. Glad she came out. <laughs> they broke that. Yeah. All right. And of course, I don't really, I'm not going to worry about trying to train it right now. I'll try to hopefully it'll grow toward the sun. So it'll, I'm going to put it this way and then hopefully it'll straighten up itself. It'll grow back. wake it up a little bit I do have some you're not gonna see me on this video but I do have some uh, super thrive and I'll probably put some of that on it just uh, when I come to water it I'll get some of that super thrive put it up in a like a five gallon bucket or some water oh they scared the, <laughs> scared the mess out of me I scared them they scared me and we both behind the cage. I'm trying to 
even though I got this uh, chicken cage for the chickens to kind of be secure, at nighttime is the worst time for our chickens because of that forest back there. Everything in his mama come out of there. Uh, but in the daytime, I'm trying to get the, the garden and the property situated where I can put them in the high tunnel, uh, just protect all of my like greens, things they would eat. I'll plant by itself and stuff that they don't eat, like the peppers uh, that are like mature plants. I won't have to protect those. And hopefully I can let them out and go up in that high tunnel and start getting some bugs, walking around the yard, getting bugs. But that'll all be coming toward the springtime. One more thing you could do is get you a, a little trench, kind of like. So I will make like a trench around this. You can see that little hole that I'm making. Get your dirt. Put it up to where you can have you like a little watering trench. That way when you come to water, you won't lose all the water. And this will kind of settle and grow. It'll grow into a little trench. And if you got some dirt from somewhere else, you can add it. Wood chips, whatever. Look at that. No right or wrong way. You don't have to do this. I just started doing this recently to a couple of my trees, especially like my citrus trees uh, in the high, under the food forest canopy. And that's only because they don't get that much water under there because the oak tree kind of shades out the rain. So it's a way for them to hold more water to feed themselves. So, oh, that's it. That's it. <laughs> we got probably about, I got some mulberries to plant. I got some more loquats to plant, blueberries to plant. Come on, let's show them this. Let's show them now. We're going to go. So I'll show them. We're still working, still kind of cleaning up. If you remember, we had our banana square right there. But it's gone right now. And? Because you're all back here to the back so we'll walk back here and look at that and that we. It. i just i done got into this mode where oh look at our poor papaya yep. i think it's gonna make it though i think we're gonna cut these uh leaves off but they look still like what's up that spider yeah. lost some plants some plants just withered up but this is what we've been doing the last two days We're putting our babies in here for the winter. We're gonna leave them in here for the spring. Hopefully, hopefully, all of them make it through the winter and come next spring, between spring and fall, they'll have that 18 months, 12 to 18 months to give us a rack of bananas out of each one. That's gonna be pretty if we can get all six of them to fruit. Uh, come spring, I'm not going to do it now, but I'm going to take me some uh, chicken manure out the chicken cage and I'll just sit it up in here in the corner. I'm not going to put it on now because I don't really want them growing hard through the winter uh, because of the cold. I want them to kind of conserve that energy. But come spring, we'll put a, a fresh layer of chicken manure around them and just water them. Not too hard, but make sure they stay good and watered. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we're going to get something out of this. So. Thank y'all for watching the Grow From Your Network. And plant trees like you're crazy every day, every other day, once a month, once a year, something like that. Just plant a tree. Thank y'all for watching. And as always, grow, grow, grow. Peace.